Eric DaCosta says that the Baltimore Ravens are considering selecting a QB in the draft. The team's general manager denied that Lamar Jackson's contract impasse will influence the decision. The Ravens currently don't know who will be their starting quarterback in 2023. In a press conference on Wednesday, 5, Eric DaCosta stated that the team is evaluating selecting a quarterback in the first round of the draft. However, he denied that the two situations are related. According to DaCosta, the possible selection of a new quarterback for the Ravens would be dictated only by the players available. The general manager stated that the team has included players in that position on the list of the best players in the class. It depends on the board, really, it depends. I would have to say, yes, there is a possibility, because we have quarterbacks in our top 31. So, based only on that, a simple math, I would say yes. Currently, Baltimore has Tyler Huntley and Anthony Brown as options in the roster. DaCosta praised the level of QBs in the 2023 draft, stating that other players in that position, besides Anthony Richardson, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, and Will Levis, could be starters in the NFL. I would say that in this draft class, there are probably more than four players who can be important quarterbacks in the league. When asked if the Ravens had dedicated more time to evaluate QBs, DaCosta denied it. Lamar Jackson received the non-exclusive franchise tag from the Ravens, which allows the player to sign a contract proposal from another team. The Ravens have the option to match or not match the proposal. If Baltimore decides to let go of Jackson and not match the proposal, they will receive two first-round picks as compensation. Jackson and the Ravens have until July 17th to negotiate a long-term contract. If the two sides do not reach an agreement by then, the quarterback will have to play under the tag in 2023. So far, Jackson does not plan to sign the tag and intends to hold out.